MKA, let's go ahead and group up over here by our illustrious tanks. Okay, so first and foremost, I just want to let you guys know the kill order for all of our trash mobs. Real simple. Um, it's going to be first and foremost, you're going to go ahead and attack the uh, tide breakers when they, uh, if they're in the group. They they do this AOE attack that knocks you back. If you don't block it, it's really annoying. Nobody likes it. So we try and kill those guys first. Then secondly, um, you're going to go ahead and attack the hunters. So you'll see hunters. They got the bow and arrow. You go ahead and attack them. Last, we're going to take care of the bulwarks. Now for the bulwarks, what you'll notice is they have a gold AOE around them. Now if there's any other ads inside that AOE, they get buffed. So you don't want to attack them until they're outside of that circle. If you have two bulwarks, both tanks are going to split them up so that they're not buffing each other. Um, so that that's the bulwarks now later on we'll get to a part in the trial that we deal with a lot of vampires and, and vampire like monsters one type is going to be called the infusers now the infusers they will enrage all of the other ads in that group so those are going to be priority first and foremost above anything else now also a couple of times in the trial we're going to run into storm mages we're going to kill those before we kill the bulwarks but uh, they just throw a bunch of lightning AOEs on the ground. Not going to hurt you too bad in normal. You just kind of stay out of them. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and do uh, the um, uh, tidebreakers first. Then we'll go ahead and get the hunters out of the way. And then if there's storm mages, we'll kill those guys. And then we'll get the bulwarks. Now, if there's a vampire pull, we're going to get the infusers first. And then we can go on from there. Uh, we'll explain in each pool so we can do that. Now, uh, any questions? Yes, uh... Negative. Okay, yeah, cool. Know what to grab on the side. Yeah, no problem. So let's go ahead and move to the first pool. I don't remember their names, so I need to look at them. Which one? That's the shield. Yeah, and, yeah, that's uh, okay. The shield, the sword and shield guys, those are the, uh... Those are the bulwarks. Those are the ones you should be confirmed, okay. sir. Co Concerned with the most. I'll, I'll, I'll hold the right side feed. All right. Okay. So yes, we're gonna have a um, uh, the uh, half giant raider. That's the hunter. That's the guy with the uh, um, with the uh, bow and arrow. And then you'll see the giant. You see that you guys see the giant bulwark in the back there. So you guys tanks grab that. So okay, we're ready to go uh, on tanks. All right, lads, let's go ahead and kill this uh, half-giant raider. If you guys are attacking the bulwark, you're attacking the wrong dude. There we go. Cool. Now we can go back to the bulwark. Junior, right, cool. I'm sad about what I see with my damage. <laughs> with, with Magblade? Yeah. It's not it's not that big of a let off. My spell damage went up and my crit's still seventy. Oh, I but I, on I switched slow, yeah. Mondus, but Alright, All right, on this second pull, I think we're gonna have I believe there's two bulwarks on this pull. I know there's a tidebreaker, you can see them. Uh, right in the center between the half giant raider and the bulwark. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Barry. Isn't there a second bulwark in this pool, or is there just one? Uh, I think there's only one in this one, but there's a raider and a tidebreaker. So you yeah, just go so... tidebreaker, raider, bulwark. There we go. All right, on tanks. When they stab that sword into the ground, you tell the group to block. So that way we know not to get yeah. knocked around by that. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, block. 
Yeah, I, I forgot Mr. Bean doesn't have a mic. That's on me, guys. I apologize. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got a. There's only tank. a raider in this one. Okay, cool. Then uh, on tanks. Oh wait, there is a. Uh, there is a. Tidebreaker on this as well. I saw him. There he is. Oh, yeah, right here. I got him. I'm on right. I'm it's block. Everyone should be DPSing the tidebreaker right now. Block. Yeah. There we go, guys. Good job. Alright, now let's go ahead and take care of this raider. Easy peasy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so on this one, guys, if you guys want to, and then I'll leave this up to the tanks, uh, there are two raiders, and you can pull this bottom group up to the top group. It's totally up to you guys if you want to do that. Now, I'll let you know that on the top uh, the top group, there is going to be a tidebreaker and two bulwarks, as well as a storm mage. So for DPS, we're going to get that tidebreaker down, then we're going to go to, uh, to the uh, two um, uh, raiders and then get that storm mage. Um, Four uh, works will be last. What if we just spell them here in the middle? Is that gonna work? We What's go that? Up? Yeah, we what could do that. It's it's totally it's totally up to your it's totally up to your tanks. So Chris, if you guys wanna wanna just do two pulls instead of one, that's totally fine. Yeah, we'll just kill them over here. We'll just pull them over here, then we'll go to the top where we go. Okay, no problem. So everybody, we're gonna take uh, on the uh, raiders first. Oh, All right, go ahead, tanks. Good stuff. So now this second pull uh, for tanks, you're going to have to pick out the two bulwarks and keep them separated. If And if one of you could also grab the... Uh... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Bear. You were going to say something. So one tank grabs two bulwarks, the other tank grabs all the other ads. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then DPS, bum rush. I'll grab the one. I got it, bit. All right, so let's find that. Uh... All DPS should be on the storm. Okay, there is the tidebreaker. Block. Okay. Mr. Bean has the uh, tidebreaker. I got that as well. Block. Good job. Now, Mr. Bean, you're going to grab one of those bulwarks. And pull it off of uh, Chris. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take down these uh, tiebreakers. Awesome, awesome. Good job, guys.
All right, so this is real simple. One one tank is going to main tank the uh, boss. The second tank is going to go ahead and grab that little snake thing and bring him off to the side. Uh, the uh, only thing you guys need to be aware of is DPS wise. If you see a totem spawn and I'll call him out when I see him, uh, we're going to DPS that totem down first. Pretty straightforward. It's it's just us burning the uh, uh, burning the main boss there. Try and stay out of uh, from in front of him. He will be. He does have some pretty strong one shotting attacks for DPS. Um, so try and stay out of uh, in front of him. And then uh, even take that down arm, the tank armor will break, so they might have to switch. No, they don't. They'll be fine. Uh, yeah, they should be fine. When it is when it has the shield, you need to DPS it. So yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and DPS him down. Um, I don't think this is going to take too long, given the group that we have. Um, so we'll be able to get him down pretty pretty darn quickly. So, all right, on tanks. Alright, there he is. Alright, he's almost done. There we go. Easy peasy, good job guys. So we got a tiebreaker, a raider. Two tiebreakers. And I just for oh that was close. Chest. Okay, you, you add, pull. add pull. Okay, so tanks, go ahead and grab those guys. If you can. Block, block. Oh, there's a chest in here. Yeah, there's a chest back here. Well, let me go to that tent. Yep, chest on crown. There's uh, a bunch of little uh, flower sacks in this dungeon, so oh, that's that another good pull. And heavy sacks and whatnot. Keep your eyes up though, because you could walk into an ad group here pretty easily. Yes, that is true. I'm lagging. Uh, uh, 
Infecta, we have yeah. a DC. Oh, well, oh, Mr. Bean. Okay, no problem, we'll wait. And that chest. Where was wrong. the chest at? Uh, come to crown. Oh, back there. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. Walk right by us. We'll see who it is. Oh, and there's another one. Ah, we're waiting for Mr. Bean. Either that or you guys are doing a blocking seminar. <laughs> the correct blocking technique. Two hands on the staff, please. Two hands. Bear, how do you like the Khajiit? Oh, it's alright. I haven't do noticed that much. Do you crit game or shadow? He just so, looted the yeah. chest. Hey. Hey, stop looting the chest. Yeah, we're no, waiting we for Mr. Bean. It. I open it right No, I didn't even touch the chest. Yeah, when somebody DCs, if you guys open a chest, there's they won't be able to loot it. Ah, uh, sorry, Mr. Bean. Fair, are you running Thief or Shadow? Uh, I'm running Shadow right now. I didn't change anything yet. I'm so putting I'm on my Mother's Sorrow and stuff right now. Yeah. But I was what running class, Shadow what? earlier. And I was bow rocking for 98k with backstabber, uh, Medusa, um, and Shadow with all the vines. Oh, he nice! Really high crit damage, but Thief parses higher. Yeah, I don't know why my why my uh, crit is down so much. It's ridiculous. I'm only at 55 percent. My like, spell yeah. damage is 3,300, but my Crit is 53%, 54% percent somewhere in there. I've got my crit at 71 right now. Right? But that's because I'm the running thief, the thief. Or thief on right now, right? Yeah, the thief with all the vines, yeah. I might, I might have to go ahead and do that. I'm surprised, though, when you're wearing Medusa and Mother Sorrow. Yeah. The o and the only thing that I can increase is, yeah. There's the only thing I can increase on my, because I am a I'm a I'm a dark elf. The only thing I can increase on my uh, gear is making my jewelry gold. Everything else yeah, is golded that's out. That's just gonna that's just gonna give you more spell damage. Yeah, exactly. It's not even gonna yeah. give me crit or er, crit. Yeah. Okay, that. now you guys can loot the chest. Mr. Bean is here. Yay. A bulwark and a shaman in this next one. Okay. Yeah, please no. put your banker away. I pull my mother's sorrow out of the bank. Now we now we know why Mr. Bean was DCing. Thanks, Bear. <laughs> All right, so okay, so I'm sorry, you were saying uh, bear, two bulwarks. What was that? You were saying two bulwarks and a shaman. No, uh, is there two? I yeah, think there's two. a tidebreaker yeah. here too. Two bulwarks, a shaman. Let me see if I can see a tidebreaker. That's a vampire. I think it's so like it's almost it's around a corner on the right. Yeah, it runs up, doesn't it? There's there's always like a hidden. I'll get the sword and board. Yeah, grab both of them, Chris. Grab both those guys, and then Mr. Bean, you grab everything else. And if you guys see, you guys know the kill order. If you guys see a tiebreaker, kill him first. I'm gonna try and keep an eye out so I can tell you guys when to block. All right. All right. Go ahead. If not, let's go ahead and down this shaman. I can bring them both for their reasons. Alright, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Bean, if you could grab one of those bulwarks and pull them off. Perfect.
All right. Cool, cool, cool. Heavy set. Now, if you look on top of these dressers, sometimes you'll find coins. And they're kind of hard to get, so you might want to go into first person. There they are. Perfect. Get your get your twelve gold. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like in Dragon Star, they are they're like in yeah. The <laughs> You're like yeah, I'll take my twenty five gold. Yeah. And there's like four or four four uh, cage right. Okay. Oh, I hate these infusers. All right, no. so yeah. next one, the as you can see, the giant glowing white uh, cylinder headed straight up into the sky. That's a storm mage, up and around the corner. Um, I do believe if I see sea shamans. Don't I know there is a bulwark? I don't believe there is a tidebreaker. There may be, but I don't believe so. So let's go ahead and focus the uh, storm mage first. Oh, the there we go. The yes, yeah. yeah, so go around the corner. Kill this mage. Storm caller, and then we'll go from there. Oh, there is a tiebreaker. Block. Tiebreaker's on crown. Get him out of that circle. Oh. Mr. Yeah. Bean, if, oh. if you could pull him off. Block. Thank you, Babs. Block. Hey, we won't be able to damage this tiebreaker unless somebody pulls him off. Chris? Yeah, I'll get it. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Bean. I didn't realize you were the one tanking the, uh, the bulwark. Yeah, I have the, I have the yeah. stamina. And I froze. There we go. <laughs> Are you back? I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, it takes a minute. It takes a second. You're just like, uh, okay. Heavy sack in here. Heavy sack in the I also want to let our bishops know, as you can tell. Chest. Gonna be on their own. We all help each other out. That's kind of where we find success because we all know uh, uh, a little bit about something. So we help each other out. We we lean on each other to to get stuff done. So as you as you can see, Mayor jumps in, and tells uh, you know, says, "Hey, you gotta want to want to watch out for this too." So lean on your other bishops. Lean on your knights that are in your trials with you. Um, have them help you out. It makes it for uh, a much better experience. I'm sure Alex is learning a ton right now, right? Yeah. Actually, if you have an idea how to do it or your suggestion, you can suggest it or something. Then if not, then you're like, you're open to like, where, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not, I don't, you know, nobody, um, everybody has something that they can add. So, you know, don't, don't be afraid. Ah, oh, nice. Don't be afraid to, uh, to lean on your other members in your guild. Where were the heavy sack at? Oh, whoops, monsters. Shoot. Okay. Someone still has the merchant out. My inventory was full. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on this one, we got a raider. If I can... All right, let me try and get up here. I'll just hold him. Yeah, okay, we got... Yeah, we got a couple over here we can just kill. If you guys come to Crown, we can just down these guys real quick. Good job. 
Okay. In my defense, there weren't any monsters there. Yeah, put your merch in the way. Damn, she just called him out. Yep. That's why I don't mess with Babs. That's why I say thank you, Babs. <laughs> Heavy sack on crown. Uh, flower sack on crown. Alright. Let's get this. Uh, we'll get moving on this a little bit. Pick up the piece. Alright. So. This. This uh, boss fight. Once everybody gets in here. No problem. To get your loot. Now I'm gonna explain the whole kit and caboodle here. Just so you guys know. Now you don't necessarily have to do all of these um, mechanics on normal, but you'll understand what they are in case you have to do it. Do, please do not pull the boss yet. Okay. So, first and foremost, you're going to have these uh, uh, ballistas up here. Uh, you can aim them. There will be a an ad on the uh, actual boat. You can aim it at the ad to, to DPS them down a bit. Now, if we have a strong enough DPS, you don't necessarily need to do that. There's actually two ballistas, one on this side, one on the far side. They are broken, so you do have to go to the um, barrels that are located in the back against the mountain cliff right there. Uh, to get the parts needed to repair them We we don't really have to do that mechanic because like I said we have a good enough DPS that can just DPS them down without needing any of the extra help now we have the uh, What's his name here this guy captain Vrol. now with captain Vrol, you're you're gonna have your tank tanking captain Vrol. the there will be a uh, pole that that, that chains uh, people that spawns towards the back of the group and will spawn at the very back uh, near the um, furthest person, person away. When you get chained, please call it out so that your DPS can turn and burn that chain because that chain will kill your healer since those are usually the people at the back of your group. Um, so if you get chained, please call it out so we can turn and burn. Now, periodically, you will see ads spawn on the... Let me see... And I can't tell which which direction we're facing. If you're looking at the boss, uh, to the right of the boss, so you will see some ads spawn. We're going to burn those ads down. Now, uh, there will be a portal. We're going to send our DP, one of our DPS in through that portal. They will get portaled to the boat where they will DPS the ad on the boat. Pretty simple. Uh, who wants to go ahead and do that? I'll go. All right, Bear. So Bear's going to go ahead and portal over. He's going to DPS that ad on the boat. Um, uh, so, so, you know, we're going to do chains first, then adds to the right of the boss, then the boss. Now the boss, uh, towards the later, uh, half of the fight will spawn a, I don't know how to, like a ghost image of himself or an electric image of himself. They just oh, have to, I'll, I'll grab it. okay. So the other tank will grab that and he'll just hang on to it until we're done DPS and the boss, it'll go away. Uh, any questions? Uh, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add something. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, when, when, uh, when you do the tank, I will do the boss. Just hold him like a little bit further from the where the portal at. Then if if you do the AOE under his feet, you just take him out. Okay. I'm gonna add more that as well. Okay. Then, All right. That's it. Go ahead. Uh, uh, stay with that. In this one right here, you grab the ads, bring them to the boss to be melted down. Gotcha. Main tank just sits there and does his thing. When that lightning ad comes out, bigger okay, heals yeah. on the main tank. That's it. You don't even have to turn and taunt it. It's just going to beat the shit out of you. Gotcha. So healers, you hear that? You're going to uh, big heals on the main tank because he's going to have both the electricity, uh, uh, I guess, mirror image, and the regular guy. So oh, okay. okay. If he doesn't want to take it out from the AOE, then it's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right on tanks. All right, beat. Got it. Uh, yeah, right there's fine. What 
What is going on with my guy right now? Okay, so there's ads to our right. Let's go ahead and turn and burn. All right, go ahead and get that chain to our right. Good job, guys, and back to the boss. It's all good. We almost got him. Good job, guys. E nice and easy. Now here come the infusers. All right. You're our favorite part. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, I think there's three infusers on this next pull. There's one hidden inside the tent, I believe. Oh. Yeah, there's one hidden inside the tent. There's one down the road behind yeah. this rock. And then yeah. there's two. So there's there's one, one in the center and one all the way on the left. So there's four. Yeah. Okay, real easy then. We, we'll get that real easy. Okay, so your main tank's going to go. The one from the, I'll grab the one from the left, MCB. And I'll meet them. Well, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a one person. Uh, one person is going to tank all the infusers, one tank. And what they're going to do is run inside that tent into the back corner. Now that's going to take all those infusers and group them up so that the DPS can lay down their AOEs and their ultis and just DPS them all down at once. Now that said... If you're a mag character, you should be running Crushing Shock. And if you see them start to go into their uh, um, uh, action where they uh, uh, kind of, I, th I believe they kind of hunch over. And it looks like they're going to, they get the little red lines all over them. we got to interrupt that because what, what's going to happen is they're trying to uh, enrage the rest of the, the uh, group of ads. Uh, if you see anybody get put in a little bubble, uh, go ahead and, and DPS them out, I believe. So I'll grab the right, or me. One, one tank has to grab all the infusers. Uh, if you want, if you want Mr. Bean to grab the ones on the right and bring them to you so you can get them, uh, then that's fine too. But you want to pull them all into the, uh, into, to, into the tent. If you okay. go into the tent, as soon as you go in, swing around that corner, they'll all line of sight right in with you. Exactly. They all kind of group up. So as soon as you run into the tent, move to the right-hand corner behind the doorway. All right, man. Yeah. Uh, I accidentally shot a rat with my uh, relentless focus. All right. So uh, okay. So Mr. Bean, you want to try and pull? Then you go yeah, right I'll, ahead. Yeah, uh, I'll save the back end support for okay. health or. Then if it, if he doesn't grab one, then I'll just pick it up and go inside too. Perfect, perfect. Sounds great. All right. uh, on tanks. Alright, Mr. Bean, I'll hit you. Yeah, you're going to want to put some major up. heals on that tent for them. Because they're going to be kind of stuck. Alright, see how these guys are grouping up nicely? Perfect. There's... Okay, we got them. Oh, well, he raged. It's all good. We got it. They enraged, but we're going to get it. Healer down. All right, we got you. Okay, so that's what happens. They enrage if we don't if we don't bash them. Um I got two of them. There's the one that close to the tank. Yeah, and I, I went to go do it. I was on the wrong bar, and I didn't get my crushing shock off. Um, it's all good. We'll know for next time, just so you guys know. Because uh, next time, it's not going to be just infusers. They're going to have 
um, blood knights and stuff with them and those blood knights when they get enraged they will wipe the group on, even on normal yeah, we're not on the hard part of the ads yet <laughs> right there's the one in the before the cave all right let's grab your loot and let's head down so who's ever tanking the crimson knight okay you i would run mag michelle to keep your ass safe and if you don't have mag michelle up and you see his heavy swing coming dodge dodge left dodge right dodge the back dodge forward Ever gonna make you happy? Off tank, there are. F f All right, and then off tank, there are four infusers. Now, what we're gonna do, I think, a little bit different this time, is, and I've seen it done in some other trials, is we're gonna assign uh, people to infusers, and they're gonna be solely there to DPS and bash them. The rest of the group will go from infuser to infuser and, and burn them down, but uh, we want to have at least one DPS on them, just just there to bash in case they start to try and enrage the group. Now, there are four. Uh, there is. I can see these ones. There's one right in front of the actual Crimson Knight, that big dude, and right in front There's of one us. In the bottom of the tree. Yep, there'll be There's one. There's two in front of the Crimson Knight. There's one on the path. And I think that's it. Yeah, there's I'll one on the hill right here. Yeah, there's, there's one hundred down by the tent. Yeah, I got one on the right hand yeah. side. So there should be a total of uh, four, I believe. Four. Four. Yes. yes. Yeah, four, yeah. So, starting from left to right, uh, who wants the first one, which is directly in front of us? I'll take, I'll take that one. one. Okay, no. Bear's gonna take that one. Then we got Ab. Ab, go ahead and take the one that's closest to the tent that's directly in front of us. Then who wants the uh, infuser that is farthest away on their knees? You want the one? Yeah. That's, that's the one that's crouched down in front yeah. of the, the crimson knight. There are two infusers right next to each other, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah there's I'm looking there. for the. Yeah. I got back one, Bear. You got front one. Yeah, I got the yeah. one that's looking at us right here. Who's walking away? Okay, oh, perfect. okay, so you got that one, so, so then you got the okay, one next Crimson to the Crimson Knight. Knight, and then there's a third one that's right next to the tent, between the tent and the Crimson Knight. Who's going to take that one? I got, I got that one. Okay, perfect. So I think that gives us all of them. Let me just make sure, check real quick. Hard target it so you remember which one's yours. Yep. yep. I got it. I think we are good. Junior. If there's an end there... You guys right. get the infusers closest to the Crimson Knight. Yep, you get the one that walked away. All right, all right. So uh, on tanks, and if there's an extra one, I'll, I'll try and grab them. Yeah, if someone gets close, I'll just grab it. Then DPS, go ahead and burn these guys down. Oh. Take down. Rock though? Bash that infuser and got Yeah, we got him. One got, uh, one foot shoulder got enraged, but we're all good. Ah, uh, that. Alright, watch out. That Crimson Knight is enraged. So dodge all of his attacks. Right. Yeah. Big heels on the uh, tank on Mr. Bean. Good job, guys. this one up by the tree okay so on this one I believe there is an another three there's one to our right by a tree there's one directly behind that one 
Oh, everybody back up. You are going to pull that guy, that bitter knight. Now, right behind the bitter knight on the hill behind him, there is a third. Um, yeah, I've who... got the one in the deep back. Okay, and then who wants the one on the hill to the left of us? Are you want that one, lady? Yeah, hill to the left of us. Why can't I find him? He's uh, he's behind the bitter knight. If you look, if you come up you to the front the here a little bit. Tree, if you look at the lit up tree straight ahead of us. To the left of that. Left of it. Oh, the lit up tree. I'm like looking yeah. way to the left. All right, so that's what we're gonna do, and then go ahead, uh, off tank. Go ahead and grab everything uh, else, and then um, DPS. We're gonna take care of the infusers first, and then um, uh, everything else after that. Main tank, go ahead and we'll tank the bitter zombies. knight. Yeah, and then main tank grabs the bitter knight. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and go left to right uh, on the. Uh, on the infusers DPS so that we can DPS these guys down on tanks. One more. One more right here. He was hiding. I had him. I'm just trapped. Got one bush, dude. Yep, just DPS him out of it. There we go, good stuff. Get ready for this next and last trash pull. Oh, yeah. Now, FYI, there are two ways to do this next and last trash pull. Trash pull. You can sneak around everything and not worry about it, uh, or you can uh, try and pull them. Usually, if you try and pull them, you're probably going to die once or twice. Just getting down the ads because there's so many of them. Um, or we can sneak around. Uh, looks like we're gonna, if you guys want to sneak around, I'm more than happy to do that. I'll leave it up to the group. Let's or murder we shit. Run, we could run down the middle, die, and then just walk through the door. Yeah, no, fuck know. that. <laughs> you don't need to say it's an option. Okay, so everybody, let's go to Crown. Let's not try and loot all the stuff yet. Let's, let's do the pull first. If you're running towards let's the boats, you're doing the wrong thing. Come back, right. please. It just makes it easier. Nobody has to sneak and nobody has to worry about pulling anything. And especially since there's people who haven't been in here with us before. If they go to wrong down the wrong little path, it, they could pull the whole group. All right. So, infusers. There's basically everything in at all the ads. There's everything in this next pull. There's infusers. There's, uh, you know, those giant knights. There's bitter knights and crimson knights. There's the... Uh, uh, tide breakers, there's a uh, one of the storm callers, a whole bunch of different stuff. So, main tank, you're going to go ahead and pull that uh, half giant bulwark that's right in front of us. You're going to tank him pretty much where he's at. There is a, an infuser in the uh, opening of the, um, I guess that's a stable. So, I'm going to need somebody to grab that one. Now, there is a, an infuser. Oh, go ahead. All right, cool. There is a raider to our right. Um, there is another infuser behind him. Let me see here. A tide breaker directly in front of us. And next to that tide breaker is a sea shaman. Now, if we look way back there by where the uh, storm caller is, I believe that's a bitter night. And I think that's it. Is there any more infusers, or is there just two? No, no, there's three. So okay. there's one, 
over there's here. There's a right there. Yeah, there's a right there in here. There's the one you can see, and then there's the one tucked in the stable over here. Gotcha. All so right. what the main tank does, whoever's the main tank, is going to grab the bulwark and grab the blood knight. You want to tank that blood knight away from the group so we don't get hit by the X. One of the healers is just going to kind of go over towards you and keep you alive. That blood knight will raise his hands up into the air. You'll see some lightning, like dark flood colored lightning, kind of come in towards his body and then spew out. It'll go out his shoulders, out his front, and out his back. So we'll make an X on the ground. So do your best to kind of angle it and kind of tank it over there by the lightning rod person. Because what the DPS is going to do, uh, Junior and I can pretty much kill one of the infusers by ourselves. Right. Uh, you guys are going to kill one infuser, whichever one lady's on, and then you'll kill the tidebreaker. Then you'll kill the shaman. Then we'll go kill that lightning thing. Then we'll pull the bulwark off of the blood knight, kill the bulwark, and then kill a blood knight last. Biggest thing to realize is do not stand directly in front, to the side, or um, behind the blood knight. Yeah, Try and it, angle yourself in between like his shoulder and his butt cheek. He will put down a, a what looks like an X. And it will, comes out the front of him, the back of him, and out of each one of his sides. So that's where you don't want to be. Now, if it comes out... You very you have pretty much no uh, uh, reaction time to get out of out of the way. Uh, it will burn you down right away. If you aren't already moving when it's headed towards you, you're not going to make it. Uh, not a problem if you die. You'll you'll learn real quick. <laughs> that's how I learned, and I still died to it. So uh, uh, that's that part of it. Uh, you heard Bear on the other stuff DPS. So let's go ahead and get it done. Uh, which which ones are we taking for the? Uh, I know the lady, one that's over here. Lady's got the one that's in the uh, um, stable. Yeah, Mr. stable. Bean, it'll kill you. It will kill you. So Mr. Bean is going to hold the bulwarks and the crimson, right? Uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah. bulwark and the crimson. I'm trying to I'll find my fuser before we run in. Yeah, go ahead. There's one behind the, um, the half giant raider. Over here to the uh, right. Yeah, the raider, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, you see him? So I'll just hold the shaman right in the middle there? together with the zombies. Yeah. Okay. I, I got this one. Over on this side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see, yeah, yeah, I can see you. The, the yeah, he's... Dead trees, kind of. Should I get the raider too? The giant on the right? Bring it to the middle? Yeah. You yeah, you can the, raider. the raiders and the tide breakers. Yeah, there's a tide breaker right okay. in the middle there. You see that, and a sea yeah. shaman. So you grab the raider, yeah, the tide breaker, and the sea shaman. All right. <laughs> All right, on tanks. Sabine, grab the left side. I'm just gonna run and see which one you're grabbing there, so I can grab not the same one. Okay, I see he's oh, got yeah. that one. I got one shot. Okay, no worries. Okay, make sure you're getting those infusers down. Once the infusers are down, we go after the tide breakers. Healer down. Yeah, there's a loose tide breaker. Infusers there. Oh, I got out of the right. Yeah, you've. What's that? Oh, you're the best. Yeah. Get Alex up, you guys, if you can. He's your healer. Yeah, Alex, X up. Okay. Okay, we need that bulwark out of the group. Alright, 
Let me see if I can see this guy. Okay, oh, we're doing good. Yeah, walk, walk. Nothing in rage, so we didn't wipe. Good Ooh. job. All okay. right. Okay. So let's get this. Kill it. Just kill the blood knight. Just kind of watch your feet. He's sucking in. Watch where you're standing. Yeah, hit him from an angle. Yeah, you have to Let's be on that angle. Don't stand behind him or in front of him. He's getting ready. Watch it. Yep. Okay, and then we just kill this little stormy bitch. And then we make with the loot. No wipe. That's a damn good job. <laughs> yeah. This is the hard ass good. pull. Yeah, it is. That's <laughs> the hardest pull in the whole du in the whole dungeon. Good job, was, guys. I think it was Bean. He died on the night, and I just used my ult to rest. Good. Good yeah. stuff. Awesome. Like saying, I've never not wiped to that group on any time I've been here. So. Yeah. Good job, guys. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of chests to get. So let's start over by the boats. If you head to your east. There'll be an A-frame, and you'll see Crown over there. There's a chest under the A-frame. Ooh, the Light Within Silver Painting. Nice. I have no idea what it is. It's I'm jealous. some money. It, I'm going to put it up in my house. I uh, like paintings. I don't sell those. Yeah, right? And I got this really cool one night. in there. I got this really cool one in it. Oh, all right. So you guys heard that? He's paying 40k for motifs. Um, one of the, pretty sure it's a guaranteed motif drop at last boss. Yeah, somebody yeah. gets one. There's a chest on crown. It's in one of the little uh, sheds. Not fall in the water, it will kill you. Yeah. I think you're guaranteed one out of the coffin, <laughs> so you can get one guaranteed a week every person. So if no one's done kind of ages this week, we're all getting a drop for a motif. A heavy sack. And this is gonna get expensive. That's what I was thinking. Because I'm not on my <laughs> I'm not on my crafter, so I don't even know which ones I don't need. Yeah. I have a guild I guess that just farms this once weekly for the motifs just to sell them. I guess it's good I got three million in the bank. Now, so you guys know, sometimes there is a chest here in the uh, stables. There isn't one this time, so... Once so you've collected all your loot... Two chests? You... Yeah, that's what, it, that's what I got. Uh, two chests and a heavy sack. I'm gonna go into the uh, door. Yeah, like three heavy sacks, I think. Oh, and that could be. I probably missed a couple of heavy sacks. I'm too worried about it. Yeah, once you get through the door, don't move forward. Just kind of hang out. Yeah, they didn't drop any. Now, uh, real quick, I'm just gonna explain. Uh, the mechanics on this, we probably won't have to do them because we're going to have enough burn to just burn them down. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, boss there in the center. And, Bear, I'm going to have you help me on this one because um, it's been a while since I did this boss. He's going to have a, a mechanic where he actually, uh, if you look around the outside, you'll see little altars. He is actually going to electrify those altars. Then what he does is he shoots a beam of electricity from him to the altar. Now, uh, typically, if you're going to do that mechanic, we will all line up in a line between him, single file, between him and one of the altars, and that electricity will pass all through us, and nobody will get hurt. Um, we're going to have the burn, so we probably won't have to do that. Now, what will happen is we'll DPS him down, and at a certain point, I don't know what the percentage is offhand, but at a certain point, he's going to... Something like that, yeah. He's going to break the ground he's on. He's standing on. We're all going to fall, fall down a level. Now, when we do go down to the next level, there will be three adds. A Bitter Knight, a Crimson Knight, and a Blood Knight. What we're going to do is, I believe it's the... Is it the Bitter Knight that does the X? Blood. 
Blood Knight does the X. We're going to DPS that one down first. Then we're going to go Bitter. Then we're going to go Crimson. Is no, that... in fact, what happens down there yeah. is when one dies, the other two gain their powers. Oh, okay. Okay, so... so uh... Bitter, Blood then either Blood... Yeah. I would go Bitter, uh, Blood, then Crimson. Perfect. And then one tank is responsible for the Crimson Knight. The other tank is responsible for the other two. And then okay. the boss will gain their powers. Okay. So, uh, as you heard with Bear, they're going to have all those, uh, they're going to have that X power. So, you keep DPS, keep your heads on the swivel. Try not to get caught by that uh, X. We probably will. Not a problem. Your other DPS friends will help res you and we'll get you back up. Now, there is also a mechanic where there will be uh, little blood jellies. We're going to go ahead and DPS those down. Should be pretty easy. If you have the uh, Destro uh, alt, the Ellie Rage Destro alt ability, you can drop that and it'll cover a wide area and kill a lot of them. They're not really hard to kill, especially on normal. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and watch our feet because of that X. We're going to go, I believe you said, say the order again there, Bear. Uh, bitter, Blood, and then crimson perfect bitter blood and then crimson uh in that order dps those down and then once we do do that we will attack the uh, main boss again he'll break the floor one last time we'll fall down to the bottom of the um of the whole tower we're in and then we'll just dps them down to the end any questions uh, on the two ads, uh, he's gonna spawn later on. Can I hold both of them at the same time, or he's gonna? Yes. Okay, alright. You, you'll have to hold the blood and the bitter knight together. Okay, alright, thanks. Try, try and get the reses as quick as possible. Right. If the floor breaks and somebody's dead, a lot of times they get stuck floating in the air. Yeah, so and we won't be able to res them. Yeah, yeah we need to do this channel just ready to move. Just gonna get. All right, so I will try and call out if, if I see anybody down. We'll try and get them rezzed up uh, immediately. All right. All right, on tanks. There we go. Alright, let's let the tanks grab these guys. Get her first, right? Correct. Alright, so I am in a little cocoon oh. if somebody can DPS me out. Thank you so much. All right, so we're on that bitter night first. Watch the blood night. He's doing his thingy. You guys are Ooh. all gonna get white. It's all good. Get your friends up. I got Mystic. I got Jaeger. I got Hop. Perfect. Oh, he's sucking in again. Don't move. Nice. Good there job, go. guys. All right. Finish off the bitter night. Good. Okay, everybody, focus on that blood night now. I'm in a bubble. We got gotcha. you. Watch out. Ooh. We'll get you. We'll get you. I got you. I got Alex. I got Mystic. Oh no, somebody else got Mystic. Cool. Cool. We got everybody. Good shit. Okay, he's sucking in again. Oh. I'm in orb. I got gotcha. you. He, he does it. Uh, he does it left, right, back, and forward. So just, just. Hug that okay, that's standing on yeah, watch out, watch out. Yeah, see, Good job, guys. Okay. Uh, oh, Crimson Knight's doing it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and I walked Scoop right up yet. Man in orb again. Oh, I got you, lady. Thank you. Okay, he's all in rage now. Watch out, blood thingy. Thank you. 
Yeah, he's orbing somebody. Blood thingy. I gotcha. These uh, people up before we DPS them down too far. I got Molly. I got Mystic. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Whoa, Remember, man, don't lag. stand right behind him. Watch out, blood thing. Oh. All right, here come the jellies. Uh, up back. It's on the. I had some bad lag there. Bad froze me before I was dead. <laughs> She said she wanted those roses fast. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say I got Molly and I'm like, what? Good job, guys. And there we go. Oh, I'm giving you guys heals and shields. Give him a sec. There he is. I'm glad we don't have to deal with the prisoners. Good job, everybody. Easy peasy. If you have your uh, quest, you're going to turn it in over by the uh, blue portal. Um, but very simple. Good job, Mr. Bean. Good job, healers. Good job, Chris. And uh, I hope you guys, you know, learned something here. And uh, Alex, so what did you think, Alex? First time in here. Uh, wasn't that bad. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. These Just these ones aren't too bad. Ads. Right. Anybody need the Yotter sword? Turn my quest in. If anybody happened to have gotten any um, RO divine comic pieces. Oh, in fact, uh, I'm gonna head out. Thank you very much. Though. Yeah, no okay. problem. Good stuff, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream as well. Thanks, guys. <laughs>